Hey guys, and welcome to today video. Today on my little farm, I'm going to be canning some cucumbers that I got some relatives since mine didn't grow. And don't mind little George here. He just wanted to be held. It's that time of the day. So you guys stay tuned and enjoy. And if you guys have any comments, go ahead and leave them below. All right, guys, let's begin. Um, all I did was take my pile of cucumbers here and I um, scrubbed them up pretty good with my little brush here. Um, it was a trick my grandma taught me. I use it for scrubbing carrots and potatoes and such. And then you just take your cucumber here and you slice off both ends. I'm not going to be able to show you with one hand. But you just slice off both ends and then you take and slice it into the desired thickness. And I'm just going to, and then once you do that, then you pack them into your jars. Like so. Um, you can pack them as tightly as you can because as the pickles um, ferment, they will shrink down and you will have plenty of room. I'm going to finish slicing my pile and I'll be right back. Alright guys, I got them all cut and I'm just finishing up packing them into the, the jars here. I don't want to have to get another one, so let's see if I can just shove them in there somehow. There we go. Hold on. Oh, there's some little ones. We can stick the little ones around. I don't know how your guys' cucumbers did this year, but mine did not grow, so I had to reach out to family members. And they gave me their surplus, but in my area, cucumbers just did not grow, which which is all right. I didn't have need to do too many this year, because last year I couldn't even give them away. I had so many, so let's see. Here we go. And my daughter, she loves dill cucumbers, so that's the only. I'm not a big fan. I'm a. I prefer the bread and butter. There we go. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, I got eight of them. I was only hoping to get six, but I got eight, so that's pretty darn good. Okay, and here on Old Bessie, um, yeah, I named my stove. She belonged, used to belong to my grandma, and then when ours broke and we couldn't afford one, she gave us her old one. I think she's about 40 to 50 years old, so she's still going strong, though. Here, um... Quick and easy way, I just buy Mrs. Wages, the dill pickle thing, and all I did on this was add three and a half cups of vinegar, um, has to be 5% acidity, and seven and a third cups water. And you just bring it to a boil, and then you add it to your pickles. That's all you do. Um... My daughter really likes this. I used to do it um, from scratch, but I find she likes it this way. And even she's been trying to kids at school have volunteered. They, if I made them up some, they'd they'd buy them from her because they liked it so much. So you guys determine what you want. But one packet I found has to do does twelve pints, which is what those are over there. And it does about does about seven quarts, so it's not too bad. And then on the other burner here, I got my big stock pot of water starting to, because it's done by hot water bath method, so it's just a big pot of water, and I'm waiting for it to get boiling. And then as soon as my stuff finishes getting bubbling, I will pack it into my jars. Well, I guess it would have helped if I would have turned on the stove. And this is the amount I got left after I filled most of the jars. I just got to fill, fill my last jar here. And it says a one inch Headspace. There we go. Take this off. And remember, as they ferment, they will shrink up and shrivel. 
And then just get rid of the air bubbles. Wipe your rim. And then put a new... I use new lids every year, but I use the same rings. That's why some of mine look kind of old. And then you're going to stick them in the water bath canner for 10 minutes or 15 if you're doing quarts. Now the remainder of the juice, what I will do, um, I will stick it in the fridge until the next time and then I'll just reheat it up so it doesn't go to waste. Um, Okay, guys, timer just beeped, and when you make sure it's the whole time has to be during a rolling bubble. I'm going to get these out and get my last batch in. I only did five this batch because I wanted to keep my water level above the thing. Now, for my jars, since I didn't have enough water, I added a little bit more, and then I'll put the lid on, and as soon as it gets to rolling boil again, I will start the timer. And as you can see, some of the this is the finished product. They're already starting to pop. Um, you're going to want don't pl place them directly on the countertop. What you're going to do is you can either place them on a towel or a cookie uh, rack because um, otherwise it will crack your jars. And then don't put them in a breeze because if it's a sudden drop of tent, it would also crack your jars and you don't want that after all your hard work. And there you go. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on how to can cucumbers in the water bath canner using a package from the store. And if you guys have any comments, go ahead and leave them below. And if you guys enjoyed my video, go ahead and like it. And if you guys want to see more videos, the next one, I'm going to be canning some bear butter in the crock pot. So you guys have a good day, and God bless.